What is up, my Hi, Arctic everybody. peeps? I got we got a I got a good helper today. I had to wait on him to make a makeshift chair out of a kitty litter bucket and a, and a cardboard box. And a Joanne's box. Because I, I got works. the good office chair. It's all scratched up. That's my creativity. By cats. They sit up here and they're like, you know how cats Rob do that loves it. stuff on your furniture. I don't know. I know, I know how they do it. I don't know if everybody I mean, I don't know why they do it. Anyways, so, you know, I wasn't going to do this unboxing. I was waiting on other another yarn company to send me the yarn, but this came Whoa. first. It's from the Wool wool warehouse again i cannot believe if you watch my other unboxing how fast they ship out their yarn i ordered this on the 25th they shipped it on the 25th the same day i ordered it it arrived in the states on the 26th on thanksgiving and here it is now the 27th. The 27th. It probably would have been here the 26th had it it's not amazing. been Thanksgiving and um, no mail was going. So, yes, I don't know how they do that. Like, within a 24, 48-hour period, I have no idea how it even makes it through customs. But whatevs, it's here. It is pretty fast. Hey, you better fastest, bring, fastest br shipping. bring it up on the computer so we can get the... Uh, I bring Mr. Bot in on unboxings where I know I'm going to have yarns I can't pronounce. And when I have currency exchange, the wool warehouse, they ship to multiple countries. But their their invoice is going to show me in Great British... So, gold British pounds? Great British pounds? Yeah, she doesn't have me here to keep her company. She has me here to work. It's all business, trust me. It's all business, but... I love you. That's I the best you. form of payment ever. I love you too. I mean, that's why I do it. Hey, he he works for free, so I'm cheap, super cheap. <laughs> no, he enjoys spending time with you guys. The yarn. I do. This I'm is my, fun. I like you. You are now his yarny peeps too, Mr. Bot. Always have been. Always have been, but now Mr. Bot's helping me out with a scarf or some Carol Latte kick. So now I'm gonna make the hat to match. So I think a cat's trying to get in. Whenever we get that. The cat's coming in. Whenever we get that Sorry. done, we'll have that posted. Don't forget to check out my latest hat I put on yesterday or whenever, just the last video ago. So this came from the wool warehouse. Some of it I have bought before, some of it I haven't, but <sighs> wool warehouse, they always send in these bags, which is pretty cool. You can opt out of them sending in these bags if you don't want them to. But a lot of people like to, like I said, mentioned before wash their garments like hand delicate garments and the washer in them and stuff and whatnot i don't mind it but here's the sheet the invoice is going to be in the great british terms there it is now remember here's how many i got Alrighty. of each one okay let's, let's do go. this let's do this is this what you say okay so i've never had this i think this was new don't quote me on it because I'm not sure. Some of the stuff was new and some of it wasn't. But I think this might have been one of them. James C. Brett Rustic Chunky. I don't know. It's new to me. It's new to me. So it is um, um, 163 yards of 77% premium acrylic, 20% wool, and 3% viscose. So it does have little things hanging off of it, of the viscose. It looks, they appear to be about all oh, like little white thingies hanging off of it they're not extremely noticeable but they blend in quite well you can hand wash do not tumble or you can wash cool do not tumble dry lay flat and it is made in turkey it's soft so it is an acrylic uh, wool blend, and I would give that a 6 on a scale of 1 through 10, and that's pretty good for an acrylic wool band, blend. Did you find it? Not yet. I found it, but... But what? I'm looking for the Great, great British Pound. It's not in the list here. Where's it at? My stomach's going. I heard it. A leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. What's going on? I'll Try it over. I'll go here. That's fine. Huh? I'll just go this. Do your phone and talk to it. Oh, you can change it to US dollars on their site. Where? Go to their main page, or up to the main, right there. Oh, I see. There we go. There. That's what I was looking for on the other pages, but I don't think it's on every page. Okay. So these are 526 US dollars a ball, 
The color I have here is called. Does it have a name? No. I think it's this, this one. It's the RU one. This one. Okay. It's just RU04. Anyways. Um, I, I, love, I love that color. I think it's pretty. RU04. It's kind of, RU04? It's the best color. What's that mean? It's the one in the rainbow. <laughs> I don't know what color it is. Apparently, it's gray. Bluish gray. Bluish gray, speckled. What would you give it? I give it a six considering it six. has wool in it. It's soft. Oh, has yeah, wool. It's pretty soft. It's nice. I like it. It's cold. Yeah, it is cold because it's been sitting out on a Porsche <laughs> FedEx man brought it earlier <clears throat> this morning. What's next? What is next is something. Oh, this was, I've had this before, but not in this, um, in this, uh, color. This, uh, I don't even know. Color. You know what it'll matter, I think. Anyways, this is uh, King Cole. I love King Cole. Subtle Drifter Chunky. Subtle drifter. I think it's new. I don't know if it's new or not. I've had the Drifter, but I don't know if this is a new like variety or flavor or whatever it's called. It's nice. Let's see if I can find it. Um, so, it's very soft. Uh, let's see what it's made of. It is 69 of premium wool, 25 cotton, 6% wool, 164 yards. The collar is called walnut. 69 acrylic, right? Yeah, premium acrylic. 20. Oh, you said premium wool. Oh. So I was that, looking for That's it. why he's here. He's got to help me out. That's paying for itself already, isn't it? 69 premium acrylic, 25 cotton, 6% wool, 164 yards. Um, Made in Turkey color I have here is called walnut you can hand wash and you can dry 582 582 a ball I'm gonna give it a six and a half that is good for an acrylic wool blend yeah, but it does have cotton in it so that could make a difference that's softer than this last one a little bit huh a lot of bit it's hard to tell your fingers are pretty sensitive yours are more sensitive I got than mine. Main fingers. mine are all calloused up and working hard all it's day long it's not like you lay brick it's exactly like that. I'm crocheting. Being here doing this all Running day. this fiber through my hands. No, I like this one. It's a nice uh, uh, chunky, which would be a bulky five. Yep, I like it. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. The color is walnut. Nice. It's, if you can't tell, it's got the two colors mixed in it. Pretty, pretty. So I got three of those, apparently. I think list. this was something I've never had before. It is King Cole Quartz. Super chunky King Cole Quartz Super Chunky again. That is nice. Say that 10 times fast. What King Cole Quartz Super Chunky King Cole Quartz Super Chunky King Cole the Quartz Super Chunky King Cole <coughs> King Super Chunky Quartz Chunk. Okay, so good job. This one, <laughs> I'm just teasing you. It was hard to say. That's why it's I said nice. That. Feel it. Let me see. Let me feel it on my face like you do. Beard. Yeah, but I feel like no beard talk today. Yeah, no beard. <laughs> Shh, you guys thought I was fired, didn't you? No way. It took a lot. He was begging them, pleading. He's like, please, I won't I, I won't speak of the beard again. No, she dragged me around the house by my beard. All I'm mad at me. Joking. So this is what it looks like. I've never had this before. It does feel nice. I do like King Cole. Let's read about it. 90% premium acrylic, 10% wool. I'm gonna give it a Soft or no? Ooh, it is really I'm gonna give soft. it a seven. That's yeah. nice. Five forty. Um, ninety-two yards. That's five forty. That's not super cheap. Not super cheap, but well, no, no, no. It's a super chunky, or it's a super bulk, or a super chunky, which means that it's a they consider it a bulky six. Mm. So that's what it is. I consider that kind. Of, yeah, like a thinner bulky six. So you get less yards. In between a five and a six. You get less yardage because you can do more with a bigger weight yarn than what you can. But this one's nice. I like it. I like the neutral color. It's nice and scarfable. Scarfable. You know? All right. So, yes, I like this one. How much did you say it was? Uh, 540. 540. They got a lot of pretty colors. Did you tell what it was? It is new. It's a new. It says it's new on their site. 90 acrylic, 10 wool. Yeah. Okay. Onyx. This is the color. I don't know why oh, I didn't get that one. Oh, it's just quartz, but then the color's onyx. Okay. Yeah, the color's onyx. So, I don't know why I didn't get that other one. That seems more me, don't it? Yeah. That um, yellow yeah, and brown one? Yeah. Maybe you just missed it. Okay. 
Um, it is two in the morning when you're searching. <laughs> I think this was new too. It's new to me. James C. Brett Masquerade. Masquerade. No wonder they sent it to me in a James C. Brett box. It seems like I got a bunch of shit in James C. Brett this time. There's more James C. Brett in a box. So that's pretty, pretty busy, but it's still pretty. Yes, it does say it's new on their site. James C. Brett Masquerade Chunky. So it's a bulky five. Let's read about it. It's soft. I'll give it a six. Six? Mm. Well, it's a little softer than that. Than this drifter one? Drifter one, I think. Yeah, we'll give the drifter a five and a half. Okay. This one a five. And this one a six. This one, and a, this one a seven. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Six and a half, seven. Yeah. It's, this one's still pretty nice, though. It's 163 yards of 100% premium acrylic. Wash on cool. Tumble dry. What's the color of this one? It just says MQ01 is the color. And it is made in Turkey. $4.57. $4.57 for um, 163 yards of a chunky. It's pretty cool colors. You got it, Matt. It's all acrylic, right? Yeah, premium okay. acrylic. I like it. It's scarfable. Let's make a scarf out of it. I'll crochet. Would you wear it for me? I can crochet, guys, so. Would you mind? For everybody who didn't know. I already told them you're helping with the scarf. Oh, you did? Sorry, I was reading. Did you tell them just now? The, when we started. Oh, hey, okay. before you were reading and you just weren't paying attention to me. I was getting everything set up. I got things going on over here. It's all business. I'm really paying attention to everything you're doing over here when I'm working so hard over here. Type it in. Trying to impress you. Impress me? I'm trying to impress you with my skills. Are you impressed? He's kind of slow. <laughs> I think Isaac, my oldest son, could be faster. Really? But he won't be on camera. Let's I'm call just, him in here. I'm just joking. I'm just teasing Mr. Bod. I like this. I would purchase it again. It's very pretty. Although it is busy, I think I would need a Pacific project in order for me to purchase this. Purchase it again. But it's nice. I like busy colors like that. You can make me a hat. You like busy colors? Oh, I had to get this. I'm going to make a shawl out of this. I already know what I'm going to do with this. Some of this we're going to give away. This one will not because I've had plans on what to make with it. And I bought enough to make with it. So it will be a winter shawl. Well, a shawl. I'm only calling it winter because it's going to be white. Um, that brand again is the Baby Swan brand. Signet. Boho Spirit. I might have purchased this before. Did we purchase yeah. it last time? Yeah, I think we did actually. I don't know, but any, I, I think I got you it. Might have got the solids, the bohos. I got the solids this time. Last time I got the uh, mixed. I think I don't know, but anyways, it is beautiful, bright white roving style. It reminds me of like the way it looks, the shine on it. Red Heart Unforgettable, without a doubt, but solid, like solid Red Heart Unforgettable. It's very pretty. Let's see what how much is in it. 100% premium acrylic. I'd give it a 6. Um, 240 meters, which is probably about 240, 50, 64 yards, maybe. Something like that. Per ball, machine wash, do not dry. Um, the color I have here is called Pure. That is a very appropriate name for white. And it is made in, where's it made? Where's it made? Mr. Bob, where's it made? Doesn't say. It doesn't say. Sorry, I don't know where it's made. Doesn't say anywhere. Uh, hmm. How much is it? It is 526. 526 a ball. Now, I did buy, uh, how many does it say I bought? Five of them? Oh, I didn't look any. Five of them to make a shawl. Yep. Whether or not I need that many, I don't know. It really depends on the stitch. But I am a big fan of textured stitches, so we'll see. I might get started on that after this hat and scarf set that we do. I bought Did you some... get the right one? It says right here you got the solids. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the white one. Sorry. Okay, yeah. All right, yeah, it was the right one. Right. Okay, that was it? Okay. Yeah. Now, this is King Cole. I think King Cole Ultra Soft Chunky. I think it might have been a new one, too. I tried to buy some new ones that I've never had. Because I did buy some that I've had before, that I've showed you before, but I had to get them because they were a good price. I don't know, well, how, well I said before, Wall Warehouse, yeah, it's new on their site. 
is becoming one of my faves. I don't know why. For um, out of the U.S. Uh, yarn it comes places. In one day, that's why. Well, plus, they got such a variety of yarn. I don't know. It's just um, it's remarkable how much yarn they have, and it's pretty good prices actually. So I got white in this ultra soft. It is ultra soft. What do you give it? What I give it's this? Pretty soft. Did I just I give think it? this. No. No. Mm, this yeah, is that one's softer. This is softest so far, probably. What, what's the highest that rating I've given? I think this was a seven, wasn't it? This? Yeah. Six and a half or a seven? Yeah. What was this one, did you say? I don't remember. Ooh, that was good. It's, it's... That's a six. I gave this a six. Okay. I'm going to give this a solid seven. That's nice. I think it's nice. You know, it's hard for me to find 100. I've never found a 100% acrylic that was a 10, and I doubt that I, I could possibly one day. But, um,. I've had tins before that were mixed, acrylic mix, but never like a 100%. This is 100% premium acrylic. It does feel really nice. 158 yards, and it is made in Turkey, color white, ultra soft, chunky. So it's a bulky five. 158 yards, how much? Uh, 485. 485. Wouldn't it feel softer if the, the twists weren't as tight or close together? Yeah, like but. The way it's twisted, like a little bit longer. Yeah, but this causes splitting when it's not twisted oh, tight. I see. I see. It makes sense though what you're saying. Because you, you wouldn't go against the grain when you touch it. That's so nice. Oh, I like all the yarn I got. I the like same one. all yeah. the yarn that I got. I think we did that one. Yes, we did. Yeah. And this is all my white for my shawl. That one's cool. I like that color. Oh, this is that one that I got last time, and you said you liked the green. I got it for you, so I can nice. make you a hat or something out of it. This is Thank a you. Signet, I think it is, um, Prism that we talked about before that was uh, very well priced for the amount of yardage you get. Look at that gorgeous green. Last time I got that really pretty red and brown. That's pretty, and Mr. Bob mentioned that he really liked the green one. 457 457 and that is for... It's a DK, DK, so which it's it's a lightweight three. It is a roving style, as you can see, has a bit of a shine to it. Actually, has quite a bit of a shine to it. It's nice. Um, it's in meters, three hundred meters. Three hundred meters, so about three hundred and thirty yard, three hundred and thirty yards per ball, and that is that's quite a bit for you know. I know it's a DK, but it's still pretty good for four fifty seven, considering how pretty I think the colors are. Yeah, the colors are great. I got that for you, Mr. Bob. I'll wear a hat if you make one. Get your knitting machine. I want to get a knitting hat. machine. I just got to find a good one. Okay. Then I got some James C. Brett Marble Chunky. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but <clears throat> it's pretty common. I have several tutorials using it. Um, I like it. I made a really pretty jacket or cardigan out of it. You guys should check it out. I made hats for Ray's. Um, I don't know, lots of stuff out of it. But the Marble Junkie is, it's pretty common. Maybe a lot of you have heard of it. They don't have a lot of colors. I mean, they have a lot of colors, but they were out of a lot of colors. My ears ringing, Mr. Bond. What's that mean? Someone's talking about you. Oh no, you guys are talking about me? Okay, this is made in Turkey. James C. Bread is. The color is MC23. Mm. 341 yards of a bulky five. Seven, 100, 721, sorry. Se, 721, that's how much it was? Yeah, right here, the marble chunky. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. 721, 341 yards of a bulky five. It's pretty good if you compare it to like Scarfy. Scarfy, it, you know, it's like seven bucks at Walmart and it's like 300 yards. So not quite 300 yards, I don't think. But maybe Scarfy's got wool on it. I can't remember. Anyways, I don't know what to compare it to. But machine washable, <laughs> machine dryable. I like it though. I've used it plenty in my video and a lot of quite a few tutorials I have. So I got this pretty blue. Like I said, they didn't have a lot to Would choose. you rate it the softness? It's not as soft as I give it just in the middle. I give it a five. Five. It's still scarfable. Yeah. What do you think? Five. I think this one's the softest soft. so yeah, far, though. Soft. This ultra soft. Yeah. It means. It's nice. Suits it, huh? Yep. They weren't lying. No, they were not. And then I got some more of the marble chunky, and a few different colors because I had a project in mind. 
Those what? are all the same price, right? Yes, seven, for this one. 721. This one is color number MC38. MC38. I had I bought um, one, two, three, four, five of those because I have I won't be giving these away in a giveaway. Um, I have a project that I'm going to use this one for. It's got a lot more colors in it than I thought, but that's okay. I can deal with a multicolored project. Can't I? Huh? It's getting melted to it. Yeah, the plastic bag got stuck to it. Hmm. I don't know. It's weird. It's okay. The plastic bag was kind of ripped. But it came in. Anyways, it was all good. And then I got another one of the James C. Brett. Um, I thought this was pretty. Oranges and grays and yellows. Collar number MC89. Hat and scarf set giveaway never know giveaway I'm hugging it if you guys don't like me hugging yarns don't enter my giveaways because I guarantee that you probably got a yarn that was hugged by me some people probably want you to hug it some people don't like it though I remember uh, <laughs> Clark had chewed on the corner of a box and we had some comments that said that they wanted that box because Clark our, our bloodhound it. had chewed on it they, so were probably, kinda, they were probably being silly. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought they were hardcore fans. Um, I only got one bag left. And this is yarn that I previously showed you. This is the Stylecraft Aaron with wool. Should I still look it up? Uh, yeah, in case I didn't see our last unboxing. But anyways, this is nice. It's a four, Aaron's a four weight. It's an acrylic wool bit. 80% preview acrylic, 20% wool. Eight, or almost 900 yards. Eight. 192 yards of a four weight $12.90 $12.90 and, and I think it's very worth it I can't remember what we rated it last time maybe a five and a half or six mm, yeah it's probably about five and a half but that's good for wool for having wool in it um I like it a lot I like the style craft be brand better than I like the Hayfield brand but I have one of the Hayfields in here I still like it too don't get me wrong I love you. I'm a lover of all yarns. Oh, I got these. Actually, got these two greens to put together to make something. What are you gonna make? So 900 yard machine washable, uh, dryable. This one's called soft mint, and this one is called succulent. Those go great together. What mm -hmm. do you think? Let me know in the comments. Hold them up. I thought about this one, adding this one to it, but I wasn't sure about the picture. I don't know. No, that's going to throw it off. Yeah, that's great. I thought it was more green from the picture. See, you never really know until you get them. But this one's pretty. It's called Ocean. Very, very beautiful teal. You call that teal? Mm. You call it? Not teal. Teal blue. Green. There's teal green. There's teal blue. I call that teal blue. You think that's teal blue? What do you call it? Ocean. Ocean blue. <laughs> Really well, I won't me, use it with these two, but these two I think go mighty well yeah, together. together. What do you think? Well, considering mint is a plant and succulent is plants that go well together. Are you trying to outsmart me, Mr. Buck? No. <laughs> you knew that. I know. Not now smart you. I know. Okay, then I have the Hayfield Bonus Saran, which I give a straight five for softness. Is it which, the same? No. Oh, yeah. This was which isn't, isn't bad because um, it, it is, it's an 80 acrylic 20% wool blend, too. Um, I had to get this orange color. I think it's so... What's the color name of it? Uh, it has a name. Look it up. It, oh, the color it? name is so cute. Goldfish? Maybe? Was it, where's it at? No, it's, got, it's not on that one. Oh. It's uh, Tweed. Oh, Tweed. Yeah. Now, this is machine washable, dryable. Um, 920 yards. I didn't know there was more yardage in here. Wow, well, hey, feel bonus. Bone right there. Oh, that's the big, big... It just went to Hayfield Tweed. Uh, I think the color was called Goldfish, and the name got yeah, me. Yeah, it's Goldfish. It yeah. is, and I had to mm -hmm. get it. But anyways, I rate it on a 5 as a scale of softness. It's still scarfable. 5 is just kind of mediocre, you know what I mean? It's like what a lot of four-weight acrylics uh, fall under for me. That means it's scarfable, so it's soft. It's just not the worst. It's just I would use it for whatever I wanted to use it for. Um I like the tweed colors are brown, black, and white in it. And it does look just like a little goldfish. It's got a lot more yardage. How much? Uh, let's see. 1387? Yeah, 1387. 1387. 
I mean, it's not a lot more yardage, I guess, but, well, like 20, 25 more yards than the other one. But <laughs> the other one is a tea tad, tea tad softer. So that is my, oh, Mr. Bod, you weren't cracking any jokes today. I know. Why? you got to be entertaining. Oh, I'm not. I did get this one. I gave this away in a giveaway, and then I bought it back because I had to have it. Okay, apparently Mr. Bob thinks my room's too hot in here. It's I, super hot. The light's above us. I feel like lots I'm being interrogated. Of lights. Plus, we're surrounded by yarn, like all around us, and it insulates it. It does get very hot. How do you and think we I wear feel, beanies all the time. How do you think I feel when I'm in here crocheting a tutorial, and I got all the lights on? I don't even have them okay. all on right now. I know that she can handle the heat a lot better than me, because at nighttime, I sleep with the air conditioner on, even in the wintertime, with a box fan blowing in my face. She sleeps with a heating blanket. Under me. Has to be under me. Like I'm high. Six layers of clothes, a house coat. No. Uh, weighted blanket. He's lying. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I would. Okay. I would melt. I have it. to sleep with a heated blanket under me. I lay on top so of a heated hot. blanket so on hot. high. And then I have two blankets on top of me. But my feet have to be out of the blankets without socks. And she always goes with her foot and <laughs> just constantly. <laughs> During my sleep. I hear you. Go, I have very <laughs> Pacific sleeping things and Evelyn has to be up in the bed with me um whether he is or not is doesn't matter but Evelyn has to be so I usually just sleep on the floor or on I have my own place because I like to have a fan blown on me and she doesn't so don't feel bad for him he's got a mattress down there don't feel bad oh I'm comfortable he could sleep up in our bed I mean I prefer to have the California King to me and Evelyn. We want it to ourselves. So we don't really want any oh, boys. They get, they get it. They we get don't it. really want any boys up there. But of course, you guys are welcome. I mean, you're welcome to join if you want to. I'm not saying that. You know. I'm forbidden. To you're sleep forbidden. In my own bed. But you're not really invited. No, you're we, just, we sleep in two different can. environments. I could not sleep in the bed with a he heating blanket and there. a heating pad and all those things on me. No way. Now everybody's gonna think we're ah, weird. Okay, so my favorites, real quick, while I go over it, I do love all my marble chunky. I can't wait to get the project going with this one. That's nice. And um, I love this white with I shed, with which I said will be a shawl. Intentions are a shawl. You gonna so, make a shawl for Evelyn? For me, I got five for of you. those. Not for me. You don't just even wear shawls. Just to make for the channel. Uh, Evelyn would wear it. Um, some of this will go on a giveaway. Mr. Bob wants to have it. More than likely, this stuff will probably yeah. go on giveaways. Giveaway, that's fine. I like it all, but I buy stuff. It was all new, and I just wanted to show you and give you my thoughts on it. And then I usually throw them in giveaways. This one I might keep because I like it, the color of it. Um, I might throw one of these in a giveaway. Well, I got two or three balls of each, but all I of them. I see the stuff, and I get, see the colors, and I just want... I get the ones for like a stocking hat or a hacky sack or something like that. And you get the ones for the yarn? This one's really pretty. I get the ones for the clothing or the item that can be made from the yarn. I just really don't want to crochet it. I'm not into crochet. Uh, I mean, I can do it and I'm all right at it. I can do pretty good. I can make blankets and stuff like that. And, but um, the persistence it takes to sit there in Patience. one spot and go... It's a virtue. I just can't sit still. I, like when I get done with this, I'm gonna get up and pace around the house just to make up for this time I sat down. I'm a pretty antsy guy. He is. He, sometimes he. I'm always. I'll be sitting somewhere on the couch doing something. I'll be like, why do you keep walking around? Sit down. Because I'm just thinking all it's the like time. It's like sometimes it just thinking. gets on my nerves. It's just back and forth. My mom told me that too. She said sit I would down. wear paths in the floor because <laughs> I walk so much back and forth. Reminds me of. Clark's paths outside in his fence. Oh yeah, he has paths all over, doesn't he? Clark Doyle has a fence outside. He he lives. He's an indoor dog, but he goes outside to go to the bathroom. And he likes to bark at people that go by because he's a bloodhound and he's got that bay, that real deep bay. And he'll see him coming down on the road this end, a mile down the road. And he'll bark down the whole time until they get up to him. And then when they get past, he'll run real fast. He has a path made. He goes clear around the, the house side, so we can see him around on the, the other house side. to the other side of the fence. Start barking at him from there. I can always tell which way people are coming from or where they're at by uh, the location of Clark's bark. I kind of feel sorry for those people that walk by. He's like, boo, yeah. boo, boo, boo. He like runs he's got a, super fast. Like he's got he an animal fast. treat. I remember one time I, I was out there running. I'm not, I'm not really a runner, but I was out there running with Clark and um, Evelyn. Eli's being mean to Evelyn. We got to go. Anyways, I was running with Clark. I was like, 
trying to get Clark to chase me. I was running as fast as I could. And he was just doing circles around me like this. It wasn't even funny. I'm like, oh my gosh, Try I was walking. running as fast as I could. And he was running so fast. He was just circling me as I was running as fast as I could. Try he walking was, him. He's like walking a small I horse. I can't walk. I tried walking him. He dragged drug me. Yeah. Almost to the it's ground. Like a little horse, isn't I it? Can't hold, I can't even hold him. If I had a little buggy or a cart, he could pull me around. <laughs> All right, that's it. We're going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed our unboxing. Sorry, May, it wasn't too entertaining, Mr. Botts. Yeah, it wasn't Being really. Being a bum, a bl a bum <sighs> clot today. Not very exciting today. Kind of tired. Hmm? She likes to do things late at night. I'm more of a morning person. She's a late at night person. She doesn't get up till the afternoon. So, and I'm always up in the morning, but, uh, I go to bed late. We're polar opposites, really. Um, anyways, I spend my nights thinking of vids and crochet and you spend your nights sleeping. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to go it's and, true. um, remember, thank you guys for watching our videos. Yeah, and thank you so much for watching. Hope we weren't too boring, like she said. It wasn't very, uh. Hey, we're never boring. Well, sometimes we are. We're just regular. We're regs. We're just regular people. We're, We're just regular pe guy. People on the reg. Is that what it's called? Regular? On the reg. <laughs> we just do the same stuff. On the reg. We just do the same stuff. Yeah. On the reg. Unboxed. Give it away. Tutorials. Talk about it. Talk about it. Compare yeah. it. Toad it up. Carry it around. Toad it up. Mail Stack it, it off. up. <laughs> Mess with it all day long. Do what we got to do. Just yarn it up. On the rig. Crochet it up on, on the rig. rig. All right, we're going to go. I love you all. Bye, guys. Stay safe. Have a great night.